Are we good? Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Hello, YouTube. Oh my God, I'm so excited because uh, this is my first kind of like personal video. Hi, welcome to my personal section. Today, I was thinking like, what's the first thing I could do on my channel that would maybe be interesting for you all to watch? So I thought today, I'm going to rewatch uh, and give you a bit of inside gauze how I wrote it, but my dating a French guy video. Now my dating a French guy video is at 3.4 million views. Oh my God. Um, which is insane. Uh, and it's my top viewed video on YouTube. I don't know why that is. Maybe you all love ass eating stories. Yes. You want to date a French guy. I have no idea, but it's my most popular video on YouTube. And I thought, I'm going to rewatch it. I haven't seen this in its entirety for, I'm going to say probably never. <laughs> um, I've obviously seen bits and obviously I've said it on stage probably over 300 times uh, in my career or in some formation of 300 times. So I thought I'm going to watch it today and I'm going to give you a bit of a backstage story on my story and also I want to read some of the comments and see what you all have to say. <laughs> so here we go. This is going to be fun. So I went out this one night. I went out to this little bar in Paris and like this really attractive guy walks into the bar and I was like, I don't know how to talk to like attractive guy. He was really hot by the way. Like, you know, like French guys have this certain look about them. Not like that, but like, like just hot. <laughs> Like I have never swiped right so much on Tinder than I have in Paris. Like mm, Tinder's algorithm is on point in Paris, but this guy was like hot. Like, you know, when they walk in and I'm just like, <laughs> like, I didn't know what to say. Right. And then I heard him speaking. Girl, English what is with your hair? English. Okay. So a bit of a backstory. This day I actually had a massive fight with my boyfriend and I did not give a f about this. I just wanted to get off stage, go home and cry into my pillow. So I just think this is so funny that I just don't give a shit. And I clearly, because look at my hair, like girl, come on. <gasps> Zero f given. Um, where's the Eiffel Tower? Now, if you've been to Paris, you'll know that you can see the Eiffel Tower from basically anywhere in Paris. Okay, so yes, I know all of the French people in my comments are like, uh, 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 you cannot uh, see the Eiffel Tower, the two the Eiffel uh, from everywhere in Paris. This, uh, this story is bushy. Yeah, okay, maybe, but it's just like, I'm adding to it, you know. Also, where I was staying, you could see the Eiffel Tower from anywhere, okay? So I was in like the wealthy part, okay? I'm not wealthy, but like I got a discount on the hotel and I was staying near there, okay? So just... Calm down. It was a hostel. I literally looked at him and I was like, oh yeah, I understand more than I can speak. Yeah, I do this in any country. Like all the dates on German guys that I went out, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, sprechen Sie Deutsch. So we go back to his apartment, but of course in Paris, they don't believe in elevators. So we had to walk up five flights of fucking stairs to his like loft apartment. And I'm trying to be sexy, trying to keep my breath. And we're walking up and I'm like, <laughs> he's like, uh, are you okay? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, just fat. Um, this is like every hookup for me in Europe. Like literally you'll be downstairs and they'll, they'll be like, you ring the bell and they're like, Bzz, and they'll let you in. And they're like, oh, it's on the sixth floor and I don't have an elevator. You're like, <laughs> so you literally like are running up the stairs and then you have to stop like the floor below just to like catch your breath. <laughs> and then you finally get into your apartment. And you're like, oh my God, hey, yeah, it was easy. It was so good. They're like, wow, you're so fit. You're like, I know, I'm so fit after six flights of stairs. No, it took forever. And I literally spent like 10 minutes down below on Instagram scrolling just to get my breath back. And now I'm here, but I look good. So anyway, I, like, he comes out of the bathroom. And he's like, okay, let's, uh, let's uh, go to the kitchen. And I'm like, great. So we go to the kitchen, we start cooking. But I'm thinking this guy's going to bring out like toast, pizza, pasta, something. But no, 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 no. This fucking master chef pulls out the salmon, the potatoes, the cream sauce, the cheese, the che like everything. And I was like, oh my God, jackpot, right? Like I was thinking maybe like Uber Eats or something like this, or maybe just like some bread and cheese, you know, like a typical French guy. But no, no, no. Like, honestly, this guy like brought out everything. I was like, this is literally a, like a master chef. Like I'm, we, the hidden cameras, like what the fuck is going on? You know, I love watching this back because I get such good memories about that night, that night with him. Oh my God, it's hilarious. His name wasn't Pierre, by the way, but like we're just calling that still in this story. 
So I washed the salad. He puts the salmon in the oven and he's like, Elena, why don't we go to the boudoir? And I was like, boudoir. I know that word, right? All right, so before all the French people come for me, again okay i want to preface this by i know that you guys do not say boudoir okay i know that boudoir it sounds good you know same thing like when you make a rendezvous they're like i have a rendezvous uh, avec uh, my vet i have a rendezvous with my teacher oh, you guys really like to have sex here in france no 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 rendezvous means appointment i didn't know that either because in english or especially in australia we use rendezvous as a code word for sex. So there you go. We have taken your word France and turned it around. So there you go. But I'd never had this happen before. I've never had it happen. And I'm there and I'm like, you know, this is my first time in Paris and he's there and I'm taking it all in. And I was like, oh, this is a new cultural experience, isn't it? Did not read this on TripAdvisor, no. Five stars, right? I really wish there was like a trip advisor for having sex with people from a different country. Just like a few tips, like what to expect, you know, like with Germans, it's not going to be as emotional. With French guys, they're going to want to like, just like powder you with kisses. You know, Italian guys, the mum's going to be in the room. I just wish that existed, you know? Because it just makes it more authentic for everyone involved. Um, okay, here we go. I was like, This was like my favorite thing to do every night when I was doing it because I just like, I love taking my time with it. I loved like just getting into it because people were like, what the fuck is she doing? Like, what is she playing at? I fucking, it was my favorite thing. I've performed this bit in so many different countries. Always the best, the best time. Thinking, fuck, what if he starts describing what I've eaten that day as well? He's like, mm, Elena, you had the camembert cheese. Mm. So the camembert cheese reference is actually because uh, normally I would tell this story directly after my sugar daddy story. So if you've seen my sugar daddy story, you'll know that I had lactose intolerance and that I ate a shitload of cheese and I ended up staying a few extra days in Paris. And then I had this one night stand with this uh, French guy after that. So that was a sort of little callback if you've seen that sugar daddy story and then you've seen this one as well. I ate peanuts today. What if this guy's allergic to peanuts? So not this guy, but there is another guy that I was dating once who was allergic to peanuts. And I genuinely asked him this question because I was interested and I care about the people that I date. And I said to him, if I eat a shitload of peanuts and then you want to like eat my asshole, uh, will that cause an allergic reaction? And he said, yes. So there you go. You're just learning so much from my stand-up comedy. This is crazy. I'm my asshole. <laughs> Try explaining that in bad French slash English, right? So anyway, he flips me over. He flips me over, comes up, to, <laughs> comes up and wants to kiss me. And I'm like, mm. I was like, Pierre, that's how people die of E. coli, okay? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, guys. You've been amazing. I'm Eleanor Gabriel. It was my favorite callback of, of all. I fucking, oh God. I love telling this story so, 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 so much on stage. So I'm gonna go now and just check out some of the comments that are on the video because I haven't looked at these comments, uh, I don't think ever. I know that a lot of these like are just gonna completely call me out for my shit French or like my wrong uh, use of words like boudoir, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, first comment. Uh, uh, start to the moment, it's like, pas de bourdois, sérieusement. Yeah, I know you don't use that word in conversation. Quel apartment parisien est doté d'un boudoir, putain? I know that was terrible, but I know there's no, there's no apartment in Paris uh, that has a boudoir. Okay, putain, okay, perfect. Merci beaucoup. I did not understand the journey I was about to take. Now I need to see a therapist. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I can give you my, my therapist number. It's uh, I'm sure she would love to hear from, from you. Um, see, someone else wrote, Arthur, by the way, to vous la faire pas derrière, means do you want to do butt stuff? So 
I didn't know that. I did not know that. Wait, what happened to the food? Uh, so many people question that. They're like, what happened? Uh, we did end up eating after and then went back for round two, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm super excited to be releasing more videos now on my YouTube. I also have an upcoming tour, which you can check out on my Instagram and or website. But uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for all your support. And I can't wait to do this all again with you soon. Okay, Michelle, bye. Bye-bye.